Hello students, our next topic is a whirling rope or a circling rope. Okay, this is our rope of length L. It is having a mass M and length L. It is pivoted, pivoted at, it is fixed at one end and it is whirled or it circles in a horizontal plane with a constant angular speed omega. So it is whirling in, in a circular path. It is horizontally whirling in a horizontal plane. So we can neglect gravity with an angular speed of omega. We have to find out what is the tension in the rope at distance r from the pivot. So from this point at, it, at some distance r, what is the tension in the rope? Okay. So this is our rope. This is our fixed point. We take a small section at a distance r and r plus delta r. So delta r is the distance or the length of this small section. So let us find out the equation of motion for the small section of the rope between r and r plus delta r. The length of the section is delta r and its mass is m delta r by l. Since m by l is the mass per unit length, so for this distance delta r, the mass will be m delta r by l. Now because of the motion is circular, the section is undergoing radial acceleration. So there will be a radial acceleration along the circular, along the radial direction. This requires a net radial force which is possible only if the forces pulling the ends of the section are not equal. So there, there is a need of a uh, net radial force along the radial direction in order to make this whirling possible. So consequently the tension must vary with R. So we write the tension at R as TR, T of R. So at this point R, T of R is the tension at this point and at this point the tension is T of R plus delta R acting in this direction. So this is the inward force. The inward force on the section at distance R from the center is T of R while the outward force is T of R plus delta R. Now if we treat the small section as as a particle of mass delta m. So we treat this section as a small particle of mass delta m. Its inward radial acceleration is r omega square. So r omega square is the radial acceleration of this particular mass. Mass means uh, delta m which is the mass of this particle of a length delta r. Okay, this is the radial acceleration. Uh, Okay, so the equation of motion for that section, that small section will be the left hand side gives the uh, force. So that is T of R plus delta R minus T of R. That is equal to minus of this term mass delta M into its radial acceleration R omega square. So what is delta M? The mass M by L into delta r into r omega square. So delta m is replaced as m by l into delta r. So delta t is equal to minus m r omega square delta r by l. Okay. So dividing the equation by delta r, okay, we get delta t by delta r. So we want to find out the rate of change of t with respect to r. So we apply the limit delta r tends to 0 to give dt by dr. So dt by dr is equal to limit delta r tends to 0 tr, r, t of r plus delta r minus t of r by delta r. So that is equal to minus m r omega square by, r, by l. This is how tension varies with position. So it is varying with r. So tension is varying along the radius by this relation it is decreasing because there is a negative sign. So now we have to find out the tension as a function of r. 
So we integrate the equation by variable separable method. We separate the variables. Integrate t0 to t of r dt equal to minus integral 0 to r m omega square by l r dr. When integrating you get t of r minus t0 is equal to minus m omega square by l r square by 2. Okay. Or t of r the tension as a function of r you get the relation that is equal to t0 minus m omega square by 2l r square. Now we have to find out what is t0. To evaluate t0 we need an additional piece of in information called the boundary condition. Because at the end of the rope r is equal to l it is free the tension there must be 0. Okay, so this is our rope, at, it is varying along this length we have found in the equation, it is decreasing and at this point, at, the, at length L, tension is 0. So applying that boundary condition, T of R, substitute R as L, T of L is equal to 0, that is equal to T0 minus half m omega square L. So T0 is equal to half m omega square L. So, our final result will be variation of tension with respect to R. T of R is equal to m omega square by 2L into L square by minus R square. So, so this is the variation of tension along its length. Okay. Now, from this equation, you get two extreme cases. When R is equal to 0, we get the maximum tension. So, at R is equal to 0 means at the nearest point of the pivot okay at this point there is a maximum tension and when r is equal to l when r is equal to l you get this value as zero tension is zero therefore tension is zero at the end of the rope this is our conclusion and this is our final result variation of tension with respect to r